Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I renovate my workbench and turn it into a multifunction workbench with a surprise twist. I found an article online from April 2015 posted by Steve Olson in This Is Carpentry. I provided the link to that article below in the description. The article was about how he developed a multifunction worktop for his Finnish carpentry team. Along with the article, he was kind enough to post a schematic. Based on that schematic, I developed my work surface. So I went with a dog hole configuration that was 96 millimeters on center, but the difference is I use a three quarter inch dog hole. Now we've got a perfectly good bench top. I'm not going to put any holes in this. This will just be the base surface and then the next thing to do is to make an adaptable multifunction surface that I can put on top of this and remove when I need to. Okay, so I've got all my holes laid out in a grid, 96 millimeters by 96 millimeters. Uh, if you've got a friend who's got a CNC machine or you've got access to a CNC machine, I suggest trying to do it that way. Uh, the factory made ones obviously are done on a CNC machine, that's why you get a nice accurate grid. I've uh, done this before on a smaller tabletop, this is the largest one that I've done. I think it's going to work pretty well.
it, I now have just one clean, flat work surface that I can work off of when I need just a, an ordinary tabletop. And there are lots of situations where I'm just trying to get things done and I just need one big flat tabletop. If I'm cutting down sheet goods, this is the best situation for me. I'll put some sacrificial boards on here or some foam pads and I will be able to cut down sheet goods. I still have the ledge on the, on the front of the workbench. The clamping system is no longer there. There will be other clamping configurations. Part of the reason why I took it away is because I found I was using it less and less and I was favoring more of a, a multi-function kind of environment. If I bring back my multi-function table, I just pop that on there. I might come up with a different kind of um, system for securing it, but for now what I'm going to do is I'll just throw a clamp here on the corner and then down in the back corner here where it's going to be out of the way, I'll add another clamp. And now this isn't going anywhere. It gives me plenty of room. It's five feet long. It's a nice big grid of dog holes. My Veritex clamps work in here just great. These are the ones I use the most. I can throw my bench dogs down anywhere I need some stops. The other thing I can do is put these in this dog hole, clamp it down, and now I have surface clamps on the front. Suppose I'm working on something in the front here. I can lock that down. So I can clamp on the front, I can clamp on the surface. It doesn't really matter. There's so many different ways that you can configure this. To, uh, the possibilities are pretty much endless. I can throw on a piece here and have it clamped down in seconds. If I'm in a situation where I need two clamps, two surface clamps, you know, I can do that as well. And throw another one down here. So now I've got two surface clamps securing a piece on the front if I need it. This just gives me a lot more freedom from what I had on my previous setup. It's just so much more modular than it used to be. And that's how you turn one workbench into two workbenches instantly. So now I have this work surface over here to work off of, and I've got my main workbench. I've automatically extended the capabilities of my shop, and it only took me a few seconds to set this up with my folding sawhorses. What's really nice about this tabletop is I can throw it in the back of my truck along with a couple of sawhorses. I can have my workbench anywhere I go, and I'm not losing any of the functionality that I have here in my home workshop. This multifunction workbench is going to make it a lot easier for me to do various configurations and setups so that I'm never limited to what I can do in my workshop. So it is possible to have the best of both worlds with your workbench. You just have to design it the right way. If you want to buy me a beer, head on over to my Patreon page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side to watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.